This is the Apeman M4 DLP projector, a tiny projector that's capable of displaying an image size of up to 60 inches. It's so tiny, it can even fit into your pocket. And it's true, big things do come in small packages. Am I right, guys? Who's with me? Yeah. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to put this tiny projector to the test by seeing what the image quality is like at different distances and find out how it copes in different lighting situations. And we'll see if it's any good for productivity, gaming, or watching movies. So, let's go. So before we begin, let's do a quick unboxing. The projector supports full HD 1080p with a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1, but its native resolution is actually 854 by 480, which is really low, especially if you're projecting a big image, which currently seems to be the trend for these type of compact projectors. It has a projection image size of up to 60 inches, although in the test, I will push it towards 100 inches just to see how the quality is really affected. The projection distance ranges from 0.8 meters to 2.6 meters. And again, I will push this to around 3 meters to get a 100 inch image display to see how the quality is affected. And it comes with a built in 3400 milliamp power bank, which Ape Man claim will get you through an hour and a half to two and a half hour long movie. If that isn't long enough battery time, I'll also show you what you guys can connect the projector to to extend the battery life. In terms of features, the projector is incredibly basic, as there is no remote control and the only functional buttons are the power and volume buttons and a focus wheel on the side. And that's it. There is no menu system to adjust the brightness and you can't correct the image if you have the projector at a certain angle, meaning you'll be limited when it comes to the placement of the projector. The build quality of the projector is really good. The top part is made of plastic with a glossy finish, whereas the bottom is also plastic but has a matte finish. The sides are made from some kind of metal, which adds a nice bit of weight to the projector. It's well built, but definitely not as robust as I would like it to be, as one drop onto any kind of hard surface would most likely dent the body or shatter the lens and the parts inside, so handle it with care. In terms of connectivity, there are ports for a pair of headphones, USB, HDMI and a micro USB. And finally, aesthetically, I personally really like its minimal, clean, sleek design. It's a pocket projector that I would happily carry around with me. But now, let's test this baby out and see what the quality is like. We'll begin with the shortest distance from the wall to the furthest. And for each distance, we'll run through different lighting situations from daytime all the way to dark conditions. So, let's begin. <laughs> Just so you guys know, when I originally recorded the test, there was a lot of flickering on the footage I captured, so I had to slow down the shutter speed on my camera, meaning the image on the wall from the projector looks a bit laggy, but I can assure you, it doesn't look laggy in real time. Anyway, anything above 30 inches, the projector struggles to produce a bright enough image with natural light coming from the window. Below 30 inches, some content is just about watchable. The closer you get to the wall, the brighter the image becomes, making it easier to view the image you'll just have to put up with a small image in return. 
In fluorescent and warm light conditions, the image quality improves drastically, but as you would expect, the further you move the projector away from the wall to display a large image, the image brightness fades away, although it's still watchable compared to a room with natural light. It is a shame that the projector has no settings to adjust the brightness or contrast, or even sharpness, as they would have improved the image quality even more so. In dark conditions, with absolutely no room light, the image is bright, and I personally find it enjoyable to watch a movie or TV show. But with a native resolution of 854 by 480 don't expect to get a sharp image. It's more noticeable when you push the projector over its recommended 60 inch, as the image becomes blurry and pixelated. At 107 inches, as you see here, the image isn't great, but I personally don't mind as it's still watchable for movies and TV shows etc. And for such a tiny device to produce an image size like this, it's pretty cool. Gaming on the other hand, it's not great, as it's too pixelated and dark to pinpoint your enemies in games like Call of Duty's Warzone. The lack of sharpness and brightness makes it difficult to make out details in the game. For a better gaming experience, I would recommend playing at a display size of 60 inches or smaller to get a brighter and sharper image. It might be an improvement, but I wouldn't recommend this monitor for competitive gaming or any games that require focus on high details or reading a lot of text as it's just not sharp enough. The issue is also the same for productivity. For things like video editing, using Word or general web browsing, all these things require being able to read the text and icons clearly and unfortunately the projector's low native resolution isn't good enough quality. Sound wise, this tiny projector produces a decent sound. Nothing groundbreaking, but it's good enough for its size. Let's have a listen. What do you guys think? Any good? I personally think it's not too bad for its size. Moving on to battery life, I haven't fully tested a projector's battery life, but if you ever needed to extend it, you could always hook it up to a battery power bank. I'm using a 27,000 milliamp power bank from Rav Power. It's capable of charging my iPhone 10 about seven times, so it should be more than enough to power this little projector. I'll link this in the video description below if you want to check it out. I've actually combined this projector with an Amazon Fire Stick and a power bank. It's an excellent combination for portability use. Like if you were going over to a friend's house to watch a movie, so you happen to have this tiny projector in your pocket and all of a sudden, you've just turned that room into a cinema. Or if you're like me and you're not going anywhere, but you just want to lie in bed and project a movie onto the ceiling. I know, it sounds a bit lazy, but it's certainly a great little device for these kind of things. I want to know, how would you guys use this? Is it something you would consider getting? What are your thoughts on this portable projector? I really want to know. And if you have any questions about the projector, comment below. Well, that's it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And all the products featured in this video will be linked down below. I'm Andy Django and I'll see you in the next video. Oh.